Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm in my bathroom right now, so if you guys hear like that fan, I apologize. I tried to turn it off, but yeah, I don't know. This is like the only place in the house right now that's light because it's dark outside. There is no natural light, but as you can tell by the title, yes, I think that my hair is falling out and I kind of just want to go into detail about what I think is going on and how I think that I've been resolving it for the most part. But also, I want to put this video out here in hopes that there are other women experiencing this out there who can give me some tips about how I can save my hair because y'all, hair loss for me is discouraging, it's frustrating, and it's just sad because I really worked hard to embrace my type four natural hair and to maintain it and take care of it. And then stuff like this happens and I'm just like, I feel like I'm just back at square one. June of 2022. I was on the treadmill and I was working up a sweat. I had on a hoodie that day and I was sweating. I sweat a lot in my head and um, there was sweat dripping down the back of my neck. And then all of a sudden my neck started itching really, 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 really bad. So I kind of just, you know, I you know, was patting it and then I just started like going in and just scratching it. I get back to the room and I'm like, let me take a look at the back of my neck because something's going on. So like I took a mirror, like a small handheld mirror and I faced away from the big mirror in the bathroom so I can see the back of my neck. And y'all, I had eczema patches on the back of my neck. To be honest, I did not care for it right away. I just kept scratching for the next few days and it got worse. So finally, I'm like, I do not want to go to a dermatologist eczema is just nothing new to me but we'll get into that in a moment um i didn't want to go to a dermatologist so my husband had this one percent cortisone actually i think we still might have the tube yeah this stuff here and um i used it on the back of my neck it cleared it up in a few days but you know what else happened my hair came out and i don't know if it was because of the cream or the abrasiveness of me scratching and patting and rubbing and all that stuff. So for like the whole summer, I was looking like a ball head skittle diddle. I really, <laughs> I really like did not wear my hair up that much. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty intense. So what I feel like happened was <clears throat> I'm sensitive to products. Um, so let me give you guys an example. Um, prone to eczema. It's atopic and it's also triggered by environmental factors, okay? But for the for the for this video, we're just gonna talk about the atopic eczema. I cannot use certain detergents, I cannot use scented things, I can barely get away with the sprays. So it's always me just trying to figure stuff out, but my hair it migrated to my scalp what so that's what happened over the summer my hair has grown out since then okay and then i'd say maybe two months ago um the weather was changing and it was getting cold and the air was dry so i'm like all right my scalp is itchy and it's dry my hair is dry i need to invest in some really good products that will help moisturize my hair okay immediately i think of as i am I, i'm a huge fan of as i am buttercream oh my goodness that stuff has worked wonders on my natural hair but unfortunately i'm i think i have like a, a sensitivity to the as i am products because i purchased the moisture milk and i purchased the um i think it's like a vitamin e serum it's like super thick like honey use it on my hair and i had an eczema flare-up like a few days after that okay this time the flare-up affected here i got eczema patches here i don't know if you can tell i don't even know if i can tell but like it just seems thinner right here on this side in particular um and i know i have a ponytail on my hair before you guys say anything i know i have my hair up in a, a loose pineapple but 
I have not worn my hair up like this. I only wear my hair up like this like once every two months because I don't want that tension. So I got that eczema under control. Yeah, eczema is nothing new to me, but I've never experienced it on my scalp and it's concerning because it's affecting the health of my hair. And earlier in the video I stated I'm not going to a dermatologist because I just have no faith in dermatology. Like they're there if you need a temporary band-aid for some type of skin problem that you're having but they are not going to sit down with you and figure out the source of the problem because it's a business but every time I go to a dermatologist they give me a cream or some type of steroid cream that works really really well and it will take it away but in the process of that you're stripping your skin of a lot of essential nutrients your, sc your skin becomes addicted to those products and then whenever you take it away a lot of times you have like another outbreak or flare up and then you gotta go back and it just becomes a cycle i'm at this point in my life right now where i'm trying to figure out the root of the problem okay i need to know why my skin is acting like this so that i can figure out how to avoid the things that are triggering my skin from acting crazy and scalp now so that i can just live like I can just live a comfortable life because eczema is super, super uncomfortable, especially when it's affecting your scalp and taking your hair out. I've introduced supernatural products to my scalp, okay, and my hair. So what I did was I took some raw African shea butter and some organic coconut oil and I mixed it in a pot over the stove. I melted it down to make my own butter because I just felt like my scalp needed moisture um, and it, it just needed to be soothed. And you know what? That really, like, it took a few weeks, but it really helped to soothe my scalp. In addition to that, I've only been washing my hair with apple cider vinegar. I take a spray bottle and I do some parts apple cider vinegar and some parts water. I section my thick hair off into several sections and I make sure I um, get it all on my scalp. That's one way if you have thick, natural, type poor hair. If you need to navigate your scalp, section. Like, don't be afraid to section your hair. I do that, and then I stand over top of the sink in the kitchen, and I wet the rest of my hair with apple cider vinegar rinse, and rinse it out with warm water, and my scalp feels so refreshed. If I'm having an eczema flare-up, it will burn on those spots, but that's okay. Um, it's taking care of the problem. So I've been doing that. Now the issue is that I've been a, it's kind of like a win-lose situation because that's all I've really been using on my hair to be honest. I, I always use a conditioner. Like that's one thing I need help with if you guys can offer any suggestions. I don't know how to make a natural conditioner. I don't even know if that's a possibility. Um, I use a conditioner still. It's typically Carol's Daughter or Miel. So most of my products now are just like super natural. The thing with that is though, I just feel like my hair, mm, I don't know. It's just like, it looks good today, but um, a lot of times it's hard for me to wear it out because it feels weighted and oily because African um, raw African shea butter is a heavy product you know what I mean like it's a butter so if you guys can offer any suggestions on what you're using if you have sensitive skin sensitive scalp here's the thing though please don't suggest anything where don't suggest a hair product that's out there that states it's organic if it's not really organic because a lot of these products claim to only use natural or organic products and that is not that's not true because they have to add things in order to make the product smell good feel good um be a certain color have a certain texture so if you're sensitive to artificial ingredients like i am then it's not that's not going to work for you so i've used as i am i've used Mio Organics. I've used um, Carol's Daughter. Um, they have like several lines. I pretty much used all of their lines. And 
all of these hairlines, all of these hair companies create some type of discomfort for me. And it's super unfortunate. I wanted to make this video to put this out there. If there are other women or just people in general who have sensitive scalp who may be dealing with this, please let me know what you use and what you've been doing to navigate eczema. My hope is that I can find a solid hair care routine and I can grow my hair back and be comfortable because like for instance all last night the back of my neck was so itchy and I'm like trying to watch a show with my husband and I'm like Ugh. <laughs> I just want to be comfortable like I love my hair so much and it even got to the point where I'm like should I go back to protective styling like is it just should I just not wear my natural hair out like I don't want to go back to wigs and weaves and and braids like I just want to wear my hair out like this but I have to figure out a way to find so I have to figure out a way to moisturize it and care for it without harsh ingredients but thank you guys so much for watching this video please like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions any similar experiences please comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye